Okay, we're back for another episode of Hammer Time with Genesio Hammer Time Pachaco. So, he said um, this episode you wanted to talk about City Hall. So let's, um, even though it's long past, let's um, start off with the um, Roswell versus Fertizzi incident. It speaks for itself. Okay. The pictures on TV speaks for itself. And I think they're both grown gentlemen that they <laughs> probably worked it out and and, uh, and we move on. Okay. I, uh, do you think it's done Roswell any permanent damage? I, uh, I, can't, I, I can't say. It's maybe too early to say. It depends what the uh, public opinion out there is. Yeah. But it, it wasn't good all, all optics for yeah. for that time. You know what I mean? We're, we're no, I know it wasn't good optics, but no, it, did it, it do anything? It, you know what? But sometimes uh, people have bad days or whatever, and, and, they, and they get the best of uh, themselves. So. so things happen like that, and just roll off your back and just move on. Okay. So... Uh, what have you thought of uh, you're in Ward 6? So what do you think of Ozzy Grandinetti? Well, he's holding his own. He's, uh, he's uh, treading water, he's learning, yeah. he's watching, he's listening. So that's, that's uh, you know, that's normal. So, uh, so far I would give him a uh, okay sign. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's tentative. Uh, at least he's being honest uh, that the, uh, it was a mistake. He's, and he spoke out, and he dressed out with the mayor. Well, that shows that he's uh, open to saying, you know, I'm, uh, I, I don't know everything, but I'm, uh, I'll be honest about it. So yeah. I'll give him that. I'll give him credit for that. Well, what was the mistake again, just for? Oh, when he he thought that he was, uh, I, I don't know if the word's misled or something to do with, uh, I forget what the issue was, and then he read a, a written statement. Was it the China trip? It could have been, and he were, he read a written statement that he felt like he was uh, he didn't get all the information, and he'll be more tunative next time in the future kind of thing. So, yeah. So that that was good. That shows that he's uh, open to uh, that. Hey, I make mistakes. I'm human, you know. So that, that to me that showed character. Yeah. Now, have you heard from Frank Manzo at all? I hear, I don't know if it's true or not, uh, but uh, I heard that he's not feeling well. Yeah. So if you're not feeling, uh, uh, Frank, get better, yeah. and people need you, you know, so you get better there, and, and we need you back at City Council. Oh, okay. So, now you watch the meetings on Monday, eh? Yeah, once in a while. Like, I'll be flipping the channels, and if I see it, I'll start watching it kind of thing, and, and that uh, people are starting to get their confidence, asking questions. Yeah. And the debate's been uh, cordial and respectful, and, you know. So it's the beginning of a new council. So as, as long as things progress and uh, people are uh, respectful to each other and, and uh, talk about ideas and, and not, you know, making a hula personal, but just sticking to the issues. So far, I think they've been uh, pretty, pretty good. Okay. Um, what do you think, Pete? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think some of the rookies are still getting their feet wet. Yeah. Uh, I've been impressed by Frank Fada among the yeah, okay. I'll give you rookie that. counselors. Yes. You know, he's he seems to be an independent thinker, but he's willing. He's a team player at the same time. Yeah, I think so. He he, he can multi multitask, and I've yeah. I've seen that in him, and that's uh, that's what we need at city council. We have yeah. to give and take, and understand uh, empathy. Put yeah. Yourself in another alderman's uh, position, because sometimes it gets uh, you know uh, too uh, me 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 kind of thing. Yeah. But if they give and take, you know, in a respectful yeah. way. Uh, I think this council will move ahead, and uh, and the city will move ahead. Kind yeah. of thing, so. I think uh, the one councillor, though, that I think is moving into his prime is Kaiko. I think we very well could see Kaiko as the next mayor. He seems to have stepped it up a notch this time around, and I'm hearing a lot of buzz um, from different quarters. Okay. Um, 
and uh, I mean unrelated quarters throughout the um, community that Kaiko, you know, people saying that he should have taken a run last time and that hopefully he'll take a run this time. Yeah, it's his, it, it's his choice and, and the great thing about our, our country, it's a democracy and if he feels like he has the energy and, uh, and he has the vision and uh, the hope for the people of Sault Ste. Marie, we're forward to him. Well, I mean, he certainly did a good job with the uh, Steelback Center. You know, like I said, it's uh, it's up to him. You know, if he thinks it's best for him to run, I wish him well and, uh, and let the uh, people decide. Okay. Now, do you think you might take another run in the future? I, I never say never in life. Yeah. Um, there's always possibilities. Things um, happen, and who knows? When was the last time you ran? Last time I ran, uh, I believe, was the last. Uh, uh, when uh, Mr. Austin passed away, mm. and uh, I took a run, I think it was 1999. Ward 6? I believe so, yeah, Ward 6, it was Ward 6, mm. yeah. Do you remember how many votes you garnered? I uh, can't recall, can't mm -hmm. recall, but, uh, but it was a good campaign, yeah. you know, everybody was fair, everybody was cordial, everybody, uh, you know, worked to get the vote and stuff like that. Yeah. And in the bottom line, at the end of the day, the voters, they speak and and we just go on with uh, our democracy. Okay. Um, switching to the federal right. scene for a second. Let's talk about campaign managers. Okay. Who do you think would make the best campaign manager for Tony? Tony. It's a good question. Uh. Like I say, if ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, the gentleman that was from Toronto. Gustafsson? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I'm going to agree. Because if ain't broke, don't fix it. And if you got a winning combination, yeah. why, why uh, fiddle with uh, feet? I, I'm going to have to agree with you. In fact, I yeah. think Gustafsson probably won it for Tony both times. He's a very smart. He's very in tune of uh, what's happening. And he... He makes decisions, uh, and he has the good leadership uh, qualities. What about the Liberals? Who do you think would make a good campaign manager? I don't know too much about the Liberal, per se, in the sense of their campaign managers or stuff like that, but yeah, if I have to name one uh, that I know personally, and he's a decent person, is Brady Irwin. Really? I think he would make a good campaign manager because uh, he's very uh, well-spoken. He's, yeah. uh, he's a gentleman. And I think he would uh, help uh, whoever's running for the Liberals. Yeah, I, in my case, I want to see who the candidate is, but... Uh, yeah, but I'm just saying in a general sense. Yeah. Because Brady, Brady is a, a very good communicator, and and he's a man of decency, and uh, I have respect yeah. for uh, Brady. I'm going to say that if it's um, Christian Provenzano who's the candidate, I think Ted Brooks would probably be the best campaign manager. Yeah, I don't know too much. You need a campaign manager who's different from you, and I think Ted Brooks and Christian are, there's a lot of difference yeah. there, a lot of different background. And, and plus, it's up to the candidate who they feel comfortable with, too. So. Yeah, but I think there's enough... Um, now, what about Cameron Ross? Who do you think would... Uh, don't know too much about the conservative either, because it's not my uh, bag of tea, as you can tell I'm a new Democrat, so, yeah, you know, so, uh, whoever he thinks is best f for him, yeah, know, kind of thing. I'm going to go on record and say I think it would be Kaiko, and yeah, let me tell you why. You, you want, in a campaign manager, like I said, you want someone who's not like you, okay. who's not opposite. One of the reasons that I worked well with Ken is that the two of us were complete opposites. Okay. It would not have worked as well with Christian Provenzano, even though I personally like Christian because, you know, we're both young Italians with a law background. It just yeah. too much the same. But yeah. I think in Cameron's case, Jamie Kaiko. You know, if one that's, that's what he uh, fits his uh, his uh, liking and stuff. Sure, we're not. Yeah. Okay, we're out of time.